Today I'm talking about two of my favourite things, fashion and money. And if you're here, I know you're an it girl too, so you want to look good. When you look good, you feel good. But I know you also have financial goals, so you want to make sure that you're making smart fashion investments that will last you a lifetime. So I'm going to share with you fashion investments that you need to be making in your 30s that will give you cost per wear whilst looking fabulous. The first thing you want to invest in is a structured blazer because because slouchy blazers they don't have shape so the fit is not flattering and they look cheap whereas a structured blazer they have shape and they will also maintain that shape for a very long time they're much more flattering and they just look more elevated i've got three different styles and price points as examples the first one that i want to show you is this frankie shop hourglass blazer which i am obsessed with because it's hourglass it has this cinched in effect which is so flattering even though it doesn't have exaggerated shoulder pads it's still really structured because of the quality of the blazer in itself i would recommend that you actually size up in this blazer so you have this you know structured feel to it you also want to make sure that you're getting it in a neutral color this actually comes in a black and like a creamy brownie color this helps when you're styling because you're able to style it in so many different ways it's not that you should only dress in neutral colors but if you want an investment piece i would recommend that you get it in a neutral color because it removes the headache when it comes to styling the next option i want to show you is this creamy one which i got from asos i think about like three years ago it's got a similar style to the frankie shop one in that it's got a cinched in way so again really flattering especially if you have a curvy figure now this actually has exaggerated shoulder pads again which i really love which helps with that structured feel to it because the quality is not as good as the frankie shop one but because of the shoulder pads it maintains its structure and this was way more affordable than the frankie shop one i think it was like i don't know like 70 pounds or something like that and that frankie shop one was like 240 pounds if i remember correctly again so i picked it up in this creamy color and it goes with so many things i'll wear it with dresses with skirts with trousers honestly could not recommend enough i'm not sure if they still have it in stock but if they do i will link it down below i am going to be linking everything that i'm talking about bearing in mind i've had some of these things for a while so it might not be the exact item i might try and find like a similar item for you guys the last example is actually a new purse. I bought this last year during the Black Friday sale and it's this pinstripe cropped blazer from Cara Milen. Now it does come separately but I did go ahead and pick up the skirt as well which I actually haven't worn. I have worn the blazer a few times but I haven't worn it as a two-piece set. I cannot wait because it just looks amazing. This has a shoulder pad effect, an exaggerated shoulder pad I absolutely love it because again it helps with the structure maintain the structure of the blazer quality is not as sturdy as the Frankie shop one but again still high quality still looks amazing and it is cropped you guys know I am here and I live for cropped anything especially cropped blazer but this just looked so chic now I did opt for this pinstripe one because I don't really have anything that's pinstripe again this will be able to go with a lot of things even though it is pinstriped you can style it with like white black or even like a red if you want it to be like adventurous or something the next thing that you need to invest in is a good pair of trousers i'm not talking about jeans i'm not talking about leather trousers even though i do love a leather trousers moment i'm talking about actual trousers that you're able to style up and down you can wear them formally and you can also wear them casually now these have to be not only good quality but they also have to be flattering on you so not too tight because we're really going for that elevated chic look now i have two examples to show you to be honest it is the same pair of trousers that i have in three colors now i have it in black i have it in this camel beige color and i also have it in like a off white color these are from caramelin i've spoken about them in so many videos 
I am so, so obsessed. As a curvy babe, it is so difficult to find a flattering pair of trousers that is not overtly sexual, is not too tight, but not too loose. These are like Goldilocks, just right. And I did not even have to get them altered, which I have to do with most of my trousers or jeans. So highly, highly recommend. This is what they look like. I think I actually have pictures of myself and videos wearing these so i will actually pop them on the screen as well these are high-waisted i am all the way for high-waisted okay we are not in the y2k era we don't do low rise we don't do mid-rise high-waisted everything as long as you can find or as long as you have a good pair of trousers that you can either wear formally with like a blazer or a nice shirt or you can wear informally with like a leather jacket and some you know trainers if you want to that is also a great investment the next fashion investment that you need to make is a structured handbag and the reason why i say it's structured is that you want something that you can dress up and also dress down that you can wear no matter the occasion and structured bags are much more elevated and much more grown so as we're getting into our 30s i find that having more structured bags in your collection is going to be better in terms of cost per wear for example i have the balenciaga city mini i'm not sure if you guys can see it up there and i use this to death i love this handbag and i wear it all the time but i find that it's much more of a casual bag i do wear it sometimes when i go to dinner and stuff but it doesn't have that elevated feel to it because it's slouchy bag compared to oh my newest purchase which i am so so obsessed with and it is this coach tabby bag in 26 now this is actually the original coach tabby and not the slouchy kind of um, material one that went really trendy 2022 and 2023 everyone and their mother had that bag but i really like this one because it is really structured and it goes with everything you guys know that i've got the chanel double flack on my wish list but we're not going to get that until we hit a hundred thousand subscribers so subscribe to the channel girl so i can buy my bag okay jokes aside it doesn't have to be a designer bag there's so many high street bags from like mango from h&m from zara from kate spade from teddy blake that are really really good quality and will also give you that cost per wear the next category for fashion investments that you need to be making is jewelry it's time to invest in some fine jewelry don't get me wrong i still have some jewelry from asos from zara like custom jewelry which i absolutely love but at the same time i'm just more about quality over quantity pieces with longevity pieces with durability and cost per wear i have been on the search for solid gold jewelry so if you guys know of any brands that sell solid gold please let me know in the comments but for now i've been focusing more on the materials how many carats of gold does it have whilst just sticking within fine jewelry so i've got a few examples for you and the first example is this necklace which is so so cute i'll put up a picture so you guys can see what it looks like close up oh, it's just so dainty so feminine i'm not really like a necklace kind of babe anymore i used to be like a choker babe i used to like really chunky necklaces but for me now less is more so this is just so dainty it's so cute i absolutely love it and in terms of earrings i've got these kind of like cuff earrings from misoma which i absolutely love i've got another pair of earrings from misoma but i can't find the other one and honestly that was my favorite pair of earrings for real for real so i might have to repurchase them on my wrist i have this gold michael kors watch which i am so obsessed with i literally wear this every single day i love it i love anything with like these cuff link style i have a bracelet with the same kind of detail but it is not as thick as this watch and i wear that a lot as well and the last thing in accessories which is the finishing touch of an outfit is sunglasses honestly i'm obsessed with sunglasses i have got so many pairs 
of sunglasses but my most worn and my most flattering i would say are these um celine sunglasses i don't even know what are the name of these i'm not good with names of anything you guys but these are the ones that most people have i don't know the name but they're really flattering to my face shape they just make me look so elevated and the other example that i have are these orange tinted lens sunglasses which i absolutely love these are from amazon they are the the way they dupes but girl when i saw these i think it was jaleese vaughan who was wearing them and i thought oh my god like they look so expensive and then when i clicked and it was amazon i was like oh yes please they were only like 20 dollars or something like that really really affordable i'll pop up some pictures or like videos of me wearing these i'm absolutely obsessed with these okay the next thing that you need to invest in are a pair of white off-white or cream trainers sneakers depending on where you are because you can style this with so many things like i showed you the trousers previously you can style them with trousers you can wear jeans you can style them with dresses skirts whatever like these are an essential in your wardrobe and i also think that they're not weather specific you can wear trainers in summer you can wear in any season so they are a must-have investment to have the example that i have to show you is actually a new addition in my collection i got these for a christmas they were christmas present in last year actually yeah so these are the gucci rython trainers sneakers or whatever i honestly i'm so obsessed with these you guys the quality of this they look like dad sneakers but they're so lightweight they feel so so amazing i've got several other sneakers from i think balenciaga but honestly they don't need to be a designer pair I also have quite a few sneakers that i bought from from asos from zara especially zara is a good one for like really good quality but at the same time affordable trainers as well but regardless regardless of what your style is whether you have a classy feminine edgy style this is something that you need in your collection this next investment i'm a bit late to the game with this one and that is leather boots i used to be more of like a fabric boot kind of babe but i find that's more sexy which there's nothing wrong with by the way but i don't know about you but as i'm in my 30s now i'm all about versatility and the other thing that i'm also more about is comfort now the hack with leather boots is that they're not only comfortable but you can style them up and style them down if you just want a bit of elevation a bit of uh, a feminine look if you just pair it with a pair of boots bob's your uncle i recently purchased my first pair of leather boots and these ones are from mango oh my gosh guys i am obsessed i absolutely love them they do have like a a little mango zip which i thought okay brandon okay mango now i went for like a chunky heel because hello comfort i used to go for like stiletto heels and girl oh no i still can't walk in heels so who who am i fronting this chunky heel it gives me that height it gives me that elevation but also it's so comfortable and i've started this with so many different things during winter the other fashion investment that you need to make is a good quality leather jacket and if you watch my dream wish list for 2024 i mentioned that i wanted to get the frankie shop leather jacket but what had happened was i watched this video I can't remember her name i'm really bad with names but i definitely have to plug her i'll either put her name on here when i find it or i'll link her video down below where she was showing a dupe of the ysl cropped leather jacket and honestly they looked identical the quality looked amazing i had to buy it but it was sold out so every single day when i tell you every single day when i woke up i would go on the website refreshing refreshing checking if it was back in stock and honestly by god's grace it came back in stock and it's this cropped leather jacket from meshki oh my gosh when i tell you i am obsessed with this it has like a shoulder pad effect which 
you guys know i live for it just gives that structure and that elevation this is such a good dupe of the ysl crop leather jacket because ain't no way am i spending seven thousand pounds for a are you okay no we're not doing it so yeah i have worn this i think a couple times but i love it i absolutely love it that i had to get it in another color so i picked it up in this burgundy oh look at this is this just not like the most loveliest thing you've ever seen it's literally the same but just in a different color as you can see the tag still there i literally just received it a couple of days ago but i wanted to show you guys i'm obsessed i've got so many ways i'm going to start like i have this all black look like a leather black skirt a black top and then this on top just just think about it just envision it yeah yeah it's giving okay next fashion investment that you need to make i get questions about this every single winter people dming me asking me where did you get it from can you send me a link please and that is a fur coat now the example that i have to show you is this cropped fur coat from top shop which i got i don't know how many years ago child i think it must have been like four years ago i have tried looking for a link for this so many times every single year when somebody asks me i try and see if it's back in stock or if other brands have done anything similar and i haven't okay that's what i mean by having a fashion investment i'm going to have this in my collection for a long long time so even though it was a bit on the pricier side even then like one of the best fashion investment i have ever ever made because it goes with my personal style i'm all about that mob wife look okay if you know you know it's crop and suits my figure as well but a fur coat regardless of what it looks like regardless if it's a short or long one is a must have especially in this winter streets it is cold in the streets okay and you just need something that's going to keep you warm but that's also going to be making a statement that's what i love about fur coats that is the outfit everything else that you're wearing is just an accessory you could wear something so simple and then you throw on a fur coat or you're good to go i want to know from you guys what fashion investments you've made in your 30 that have changed the game for you like this video Video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time that i upload a video i will see you in an upcoming video Mwah. bye lovelies